Hello, my name is James Geiger. I'm an MD, a medical doctor, clinically certified as an aromatherapist and board certified an anesthesiologist. So I'm here to talk to you about copaiba oil. And the reason I wanted to share that with you is because it's really become more and more mainstream now. Number one, because of the marijuana industry. And this is a substitute for it because copaiba oil is a natural product, a natural solution for inflammation and analgesia is not psychoactive. The receptors that, that function inside the body for um, uh, cannabinoid system, endocannabinoids, are numerous and varied. There are dozens of them in your brain itself. And um, that's why people like the runner to run because they can get high from running because it activates the endocannabinoid system. Well, this is another way of activating a portion of the system, certain receptor types only, without activating those mood-altering ones, the uh, psychoactive ones. I find that, it's, that these articles that are being published, and this article has 281 references talking about a dietary phytocannabinoid as a, a pharmaceutical promise. promise. So much of this industry, they're looking for ways to create pills to uh, treat people's illnesses that they can market and, and sell at a marked up price. But can, copaiba oil comes from a large tree. The resin of it is distilled. It comes from the Amazon jungle. And it's really fascinating because it only works on the CB2 receptors, but it works on them in such a powerful way that it influences all of the systems in the body, the, the respiratory system, the cardiac system, the uh, inflammatory system throughout, alters biomarkers in really positive ways. It is so remarkable. And I wanted to share with you some of the pictures from the doTERRA website to describe it. Here's the, the uh, main picture that they have, and it talks about how it's an exceptional addition to resinous oils. And it really is because it's just an oleo resin, a substance made up of resin and essential oils, which makes it really unique in this day and time. One of the things when you're talking about it from a compliance standpoint is that it keeps your skin clear and clean. It's really excellent on skin. And all the other parts of the body can benefit from it too. And I just mentioned several of them, cardiovascular, immune, digestive, nervous, immune system. And you can put drops in water or juice and take it internally when it's certified pure and of a therapeutic grade. That's what makes it so fascinating. When you look at the science of it and consider uh, some of the other descriptions of it, you find that it uh, uh, can be used as a uh, in diffusion, internal use, or topical use, as I've described before. This is, these are pictures of the trees along the Amazon River. And they give a history of it on this site. doTERRA has this awesome blog where you can look, at, look things up, all their different spotlights on things, and these came from the spotlights of it. And there are episodes... One of the things that's very awesome about oils is that there's synergy with other oils and how this can be mixed with myrrh and ylang-ylang and, and other oils so that it has even more potency because the synergy means that it's not just one plus one, but it's more like two times two is four when you're adding oils together because there's so many chemicals in one drop of oil. There's esters, ketones, aldehydes, and lots of terpenes. In this one in particular, beta carotheline most particularly is the one that's most active. And that's why you're looking for an oil which is certified pure and sourced for its therapeutic nature, its therapeutic grade, so that it has higher concentrations of beta carotheline, which is commonly found also in black pepper oil and in myrrh. Let's look at another web page where it talks about the endocannabinoids. Here's the type of receptors, the synapses, where these oils create these sparks of health. It's really a tremendous concept to think of oils sparking you into an even greater health. And it's not the THC, it's just beta carotheline BCP, in this endocannabinoid system. So it's non-psychoactive, which means you don't need a prescription for it or a recreational interest in it. So... Here are the differences on this spotlight about uh, the difference between uh, THC and CBD oils. And it's fascinating that there are receptors CB1 and CB2 and how this, can, this as a legal product only works on CB2s in that fascinating way to help with all those bodily systems. I have one more page here uh, which highlights this concept of the 
endocannabinoid system, and this is the, the chemical molecule, the shape of it, which I think is rather fascinating. It's almost steroidal in like in many ways. It's a very complex molecule, this beta carophylline, with double bonds, which means that they're very high energy with other, other um, functional molecules tagged on either side, which don't show well up well on this page. But it makes the studies of this in this century really fascinating. And there's going to be so much more great research coming out and so many more applications of it that I just invite you to check it out. Get your own bottle on doTERRA.com uh, forward slash uh, oil MD and check it out for your health. Put some in some juice and take it internally like I do and you'll be surprised how your uh, inflammatory parts become more comfortable to, en to endure. So this is uh, Dr. James Geiger reflecting to you about my uh, enthusiasm for copaiba oil and more to come because this is really a growing and fascinating field. You're the best. Thank you so much.